Okay, so welcome to my Andrew po Talks Politics video. This is going to be my once a year video on basically politics. When I review in the past couple of months, the upcoming elections coming up. This year in New York I'm going to talk about specifically. And the proposals which are going to be categorized so if you want to fast forward to a specific category that catches your eye I suggest you look at the description the first topic I'm going to talk about is one year since Donald Trump got elected how do I feel about the administration how do I feel about his job and honestly I'm going to start off with the administration. Honestly, there is one person who I do not like in this administration, and that is his Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVoe. This woman is a cancer to special education. Now, I'm going to admit I was in special ed. And from what I'm reading online, this woman has cut so many services for these people, for these children, that she is just evil to the education to the to the United States. Okay? I don't I can't really say my vocabulary the right way because I'm just so annoyed with this woman. How am I supposed to be satisfied when millions of special ed children are being threatened by this woman? And how am I supposed to say the right words? when special ed teachers in this country are being threatened because of this woman. We're not talking about special ed teachers in general. We're talking about occupational therapists who, yes, specialize in this category. A majority of them in this country are against this woman, and I completely agree with them. And I know a lot of people in education, especially in special education, and they agree with my statement that this woman is a complete cancer to the education department. And Trump wasn't right on that. So, there's that factor. All I'm just going to say to end my point is that when you cut services for special ed, I am going to be angry about it. I'm thankfully not going to raise my voice. As far as Jeff Sessions recusing himself from the Russia investigation, as far as him not doing enough action to MS-13, I don't know. I, I kind of feel he's a wimp. Do I feel he's a wimp? Yes. I'm going to say it again. And I'm going to say this, folks. If Giuliani was the Attorney General, believe me, he would be a very strong guy to lead the Justice Department. So Jeff Sessions, I'm sorry, sir, but you are a simple weak link. And you are afraid that every time CNN says Trump Russia possible collusion, you go crazy and you don't want to look into the problem. And then you say you're such a hypocrite, you believe that you're going to get rid of MS-13. Folks, let me tell you. I believe our Supreme Court could maybe put the death penalty on on these criminals. Because honestly, deportation is not the answer here. I am very conservative when it comes to the death penalty. So when you kill these innocent Latino children in Long Island, I'm sorry. You deserve to die too. So, yeah. maybe Neil Gorsuch will be the voice of reason here. And I'm hoping he is, because I got to admit, Trump picking Neil Gorsuch was the right thing. I will admit that. And he's a very reasonable guy. So I'm hoping he'll look into the death, the death penalty for MS-13 in this specific case, because I'm pretty sure in 2018 it could happen. As far as the press secretary, Sarah Sanders... I gotta admit, 
She keeps her cool. I did not like Sean Spicer. My top two candidates would have been Laura Ingram or Monica Crowley. But Sarah Sanders, I got to admit, you you are a good press secretary. You're not the best, but you do a good job at it. But if I want to give Trump a grade since November 8th of 2016, I'm going to give him a C. Now, I thought I would be giving him a B because I thought by now the deportation would be happening, but so far Pine Powers complained about it, and I've done research. I give him a C because there is no liberal agenda, there is no Hillary Clinton, and quite frankly, Donald Trump, you've saved my voice for one whole year, so thank you for that, sir. I'll, I'll give you credit on that. I love to give people when credit is due for the right reasons, but believe me, folks, if that witch who the Democrats put in was the president, believe me, I would have a sore throat, and you would not want me to have a sore throat. So, I'll be back on that topic one year later, because I'm not going to go on it further, but all I'm just going to say is 12 months from now, I'm hoping this tax reform gets done. I'm hoping Congress can get through with this awful Obamacare, which needs to be repealed and replaced immediately. But I have faith when I come back to you a year from now, talking about the same topic with Trump, the tax cuts will be in effect. All right, so quickly I want to talk about Westchester County executive race, because if you don't know me by now, I... I like what Rob Mastorino has done up there in Westchester, but let me get the let me get the name everyone because I don't want to get I don't want to get my information wrong here. But I looked up George Latmia, and folks, let me tell you, he is not the right person to be running Westchester County. Astorino has at least kept the county stable, and they need that. So I have faith that Westchester will keep. Rob Astorino. And to Mr. Astorino, I say this. Keep up the good work. You'll win re-election. And from there, we'll move on to the next topic. Because I don't want to... I want to end it with the New York City race and proposals. So, Nassau County race. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because... I want to talk about Nice Bus. And I don't want to talk about the other issues that are going into Nassau County because then that's a whole rant I don't want to do. But I do want to talk about not Nice Bus. So, Pine Power did a video recently talking about how Martins, Jack Martins, the former mayor of Mineola, who's running on the Republican ticket for county executive. He has bashed Transdev, the private operator for Nassau Intercounty Bus. And I gotta agree with Martins on this issue. When Mangano privatized the buses, you saw the lack of credibility for the service. You saw the incompetent drivers who have no clue about Nassau County at all. When it comes to Hempstead Turnpike, Sunrise Highway, or Old Country Road, or Jericho Turnpike. They have no clue. So, there was that fact. And then, no maintenance on these buses. No air conditioning, even. And, Curran, she wants to keep this system. So... I'm going to walk up close to the camera right now and say this to all my personal friends and all the other people I know in Nassau County. Use your noggin here. If you've never voted Republican before in your life, I'm sorry. But if you want better bus service in Nassau County, Martins is your guy. Martins is the guy you need in Nassau. Because Curran, all she wants is to keep privatizing the system. 
Believe me, I know this for a fact, folks. Martins, in January of next year, he's going to call the MTA, and hopefully, hopefully, he will bring back Long Island bus. That's what one friend of mine, who rides that nice every day, he's told me he's voting for Martins. And he's never voted Republican before. This is one of my closest friends who I've known for years. And he's told me he's he, he's right up on current, and I've done the same thing too. Honestly, she's not the right person when it comes to handling the bus system in Nassau County. And one quick note before I stop talking about this is that the MTA was making an effort to improve Long Island bus before Mangano went to the private bus. Known as Transdev. The evil, evil private bus company that was paid for by guess who, folks? Ed Mangano. <sighs> by the way, Mangano, you better be going to jail next year. You corrupt bastard. Ugh. But folks, I have good faith in Jack Martins. I have a friend who lives in Mineola, and she personally knows Martins, and she has faith in him. Why not you? <sighs> All right. Now that I'm done talking about Nassau County, overall, just vote for Martins. For quality of life, you need Martins. So... Let's see how that ends up, because I have faith Jack Martins will be the next county executive in Nassau. Now on to the New York City mayoral race, and you know me by now, I'm very passionate when it comes to this subject, and normally I would be voting Republican, normally I'd have to be on the Maliotakis train, but as a registered independent, I just can't go against my party in this election. And Bo Deedle and I share the same values for this city. I am fiscally conservative like him, and I am socially liberal like him. And he, believe it or not, believes in the death penalty, which I agree with him on. So, honestly, honestly, I just know this, this election is rigged. And I know that Blas is going to win re-election. But I want to do what's right for the Independence Party. I want to do what is best for the party for the future. I like the Independence Party. I have no problem with it. As the Independence Party, as somebody who supports them very closely this is the right move for our party in this election we have someone so all I just want to say here is this if you're on the Independence Party like I am and you know that our future is at stake don't let Bill de Blasio fool you anymore don't let Maliotakis with her cute face and her and her blush lips and and her immigrant story fool you. Okay? By the way, she's corrupt too. I, I know this for a fact. I researched her. A corrupt Staten Island Assemblywoman. Bo Deedle is the only reasonable option we have in this election. I believe he can get stuff done. And I know, as I said, I expect Blas to win, but I at least want to go to the voting booth and protest. And that's the only way I can do it. And that's the way you should be doing it too. Silently, filling in that bubble. Oh, I said bubble the wrong way. Eey. With that pen, circling in Bo Deedle. That's the right way to go on this election.
Now, to end the video, I will talk about the three proposals in New York State, and I will end on Constitutional Convention. So, third proposal is that we're going to be taking away wildlife in upstate New York and threatening the Pine Barrens. Now, I'm not normally a vocal supporter of the Pine Barrens, but... When it comes to watching Pine Power's videos on Pine Parents, I, I do get educated. I mean, I never comment, but I feel like I am educated in a way. So, for someone who at least cares about wildlife, which I do care about it. I mean, I like going to the zoo. I've been to national parks. I, I just feel that the Andorondacks and the Catskills should not be tampered with for the nature of life. So, I hope you'll be voting no on Proposal 3 because the wildlife should not be threatened just to have construction zones as them. Ooh, I almost sound like I was having a stroke, but yeah. Be smart. Don't threaten the Catskills. Don't threaten the Andorondacks. Vote no on Proposal 3. Now, here's what you should be voting yes on. Proposal 2. Now, this proposal takes away pensions from convicted officers who were involved in New York State. I'm sorry, but these officers are not above the law. They should not be collecting while they're in prison. So, I, this is actually a liberal cause that I support. So, I suggest you vote yes on this proposal. And then, to summarize it all up, Proposal 1, the Constitutional Convention. I have talked with special education teachers. I have talked with former police officers. And I agree with them that we do not need a Constitutional Convention to threaten Threaten these people. Threaten their future. Threaten their pensions. If they've had their careers go on for this long. So, for anybody who has common sense, all I'm just going to say is, a constitutional convention means you're putting corrupt lawmakers into the decision-making jail. And that's not the way it should be. Every 20 years in New York State, we have the same issue over and over and over again. In 1977, we voted no. In 1997, we voted no. In 2017, we should all be voting no. So, please, vote no in New York State on Proposal 1. Okay. That's going to end my Andy Talks Politics video for 2017. I hope I've educated people. And when I come back next year, maybe things will be different with Trump. I will have to talk about uh, my congresswoman, Ming. Because every two years I have to talk about her now. And then, of course, the gubernatorial race in New York State. So, thank you all for watching. If you've had the patience to fast forward and, I don't know, get educated. Till next time, take care.